Today we're at the beach to collect some salt water because a long time ago I saw a Tumblr post about someone making their own sea salt from salt water and I just had to try it myself. So let's get started. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> salt water. <laughs> Shane is putting the lids on so we can take them back for collection. Too wish it wasn't. <laughs> Very surreal because I just, I used to, you know, go to the beach all the time and get in the water when it was ice cold. So this is, it wasn't even that painful. It was just diving into a memory again. <laughs> So I made a mistake. I uh, accidentally dropped one of the saltwater <laughs> containers and broke it. But Shayna is gonna fix it because she brought an extra one. To be fair, I didn't mean to bring an extra one. It just kind of turned out that I forgot a lid. Show me the damage. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to see, but I feel like I see some brown in there that we're actually filtering out, which is really cool. It means it's working. <laughs> As someone who doesn't make coffee, am I supposed to switch out the coffee filters? It's pretty cool. I'm really glad that I'm doing it. This is the boring. I think I'm gonna call it here. I just don't wanna risk any of that brown stuff getting into the pot. I think I'm actually gonna hold on to these two containers in case I mess something up because there's always a chance of that. And I'd rather be able to do this all again without having to dive into the freezing cold ocean. <laughs> And now we slowly evaporate the water off to leave us our sea salt. According to the recipe I found online, we want this to be done slowly at a low heat. So that's what I have the pot on now and we'll see what happens. One thing I will say is that I'm a little disappointed because I think I remember the original Tumblr post describing the house smelling like the ocean. My house does not smell like the ocean now. In fact, I put my face over the water. I don't smell anything. I really hope I didn't like filter out this, the salt. That would be bad. We'll see. <laughs> okay, it's 11 p.m. I really wanna go to bed, but I'd have to turn the pot off first. And it just doesn't look like anything has happened. In case there's no salt, I'm just not gonna be wondering about this. I'm gonna really quickly taste the water. It's been on heat for long enough. I'm sure it's safe for me to drink now. But yeah, I'm gonna taste test it and just see if I've been wasting my time. Salt in there. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
I'm so glad I filmed that, holy shit. What's really funny is like, I used to go in the ocean a lot. I've tasted a lot of seawater. That was the saltiest, most, oh my God. I have never tasted anything like that. That was a wild experience. I'm, I'm impressed, honestly. I guess I'm going to turn the stove off and cover this up just so like nothing falls into it or anything. And then in the morning, I will resume the sea salt process. Good morning. I'm not gonna tell you what time it is so you don't judge me for how late I slept in. I'm going to resume the accelerated evaporation process. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take what evaporated last night. Oop. <laughs> That's okay, that's what I was gonna do anyway. Uh, and I'm gonna get rid of it because this isn't salt. You can sort of see where some salt is actually solidified. That's pretty neat. You can really see it now. The little sections of salt forming together, crystallizing, drying. I'll need to keep an eye on this so we don't burn the salt. I'm gonna try stirring it really quick just to see if that does anything. Whoop. I don't think that did much at all. Oh well, you live and you learn. It did turn down the heat earlier, but look, there's like a film. It's like we went from a couple floating chunks to just like, oh, salt. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna try to stir again and see what happens. Okay, nothing much right now. Although I can definitely see that I'm leaving trails. I wonder if this is what the Great Salt Lake looks like. <laughs> Looking good. It's great. Oh, that's, oh, oh, we're done. We're done. This is done. Okay, okay, okay. Heat off, heat off, heat off. Uh, yeah, I'll say that looks like wet sand. Here's where we are. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm gonna try to spread this as thin as I can. The article says that if I have access to like a sunny bay window or direct sunlight, I can leave them there and then that'll speed up the evaporation. But um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that today. So I'll just check back in a couple of hours and see what we have. Seems drier, but not dry. I uh, was checking on the salt and a little bit stuck to the cheesecloth and fell off the tray. Uh, so I had to pick some up and now I still have some salt on my hand. I think I'm gonna taste it. That definitely tastes like the ocean. Wow, it's very interesting comparing it to the like sip of water that I had because that was like overpowering and awful, but this was almost sweet. Like it tasted like the ocean in a floral way, like a good cup of tea. The rest is still uh, drying out. I'll let you know progress as it happens. So it turns out I'm going out of town tomorrow, which is a few days later than I originally expected. And I want my salt to be done before then so I can, you know, brag about it and edit this video while I'm out of town. So I've heated my oven to its keep warm setting, which is 170 degrees. And I'm going to pop the sheet pan in there and hope for the best. I got some salt on my finger from cleaning off the little spatula to get all that I could on the tray, and I'm gonna taste it. It really does taste different than just like kosher or table salt. It really does taste like the ocean and how the ocean smells, that perfume. And for some reason, just then, it brought me back to when I was a kid, I used to swim in the ocean and more often than not, I'd end up getting like ocean water in through my nose or like I'd accidentally swallow it. And it's just that complete overwhelming, like all of your senses are just ocean. And that's very much what I just got, just tasting that little bit of salt. So I'm really excited. I set an alarm I'm going to check every 10 minutes. After 10 minutes at 170, it's looking pretty good. Still 
a little bit of moisture, I think, although I'm not an expert. But I think I'm gonna put it in for like five more minutes. Then I think we'll probably be good. I'm actually gonna turn the oven off just because I don't think we need it actively on anymore. After the extra five minutes in there, I'd say everything looks nice and dry, flaky. I'm gonna let it cool off for a bit and then I think I'll move it to a jar. It's absolutely wild to believe that just three quarts of seawater produced all this salt. It's just so incredible that you can make this at home. I mean, salt is the beginning of everything. It's preservation, pickling. It's the reason why bread tastes good and roasty instead of, you know, like flour. I've already tasted this, so I think we'll need someone else to do a taste test. I just want everyone to admire our giraffe teaspoon. Ooh. I couldn't find a, uh, what's this part called? I don't know. A lid to go with the ring for the jar. So I just put some parchment paper there. Yeah, that's smart. It's a good stop gap, right? Yeah. How much salt do you want? A little bit. <laughs> I mean, how much salt would you normally eat if you're just eating salt on its own? <laughs> I wouldn't eat that's, salt that's on its own. That's a lot more than a little bit. There we go. <laughs> well, these crystals are so pretty. Yeah. There we go. Shall I try it? Yeah. You've already tried it? Yeah. Well, when it was drying. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Is that a good or bad ooh? I think it's a good ooh. I mean, it's my first taste was that it was very salty. <laughs> it's salt. The aftertaste is kind of like a briny, oceany taste. Yeah. Too. It's interesting. It's good. I think I'm going to put it, or like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> comment down below any of your suggestions for what I should use this salt for. But I was thinking like salted caramels. Mm. Like making caramel squares and then just like sprinkling the sea salt on top of them. That would be really interesting. Yeah. I'm going to try it again. Because <laughs> the thing is, I, I didn't expect how fast the crystal was going to dissolve. So I didn't get it on like all the different parts of my tongue. I mean, it just kind of tastes like the ocean. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> very different. Very different. Yeah. Than normal salt. Yeah. To me, it just immediately brings back the memory of diving under the ocean and like being tumbled about by waves and accidentally getting salt water in my mouth. It's just so fiercely that feeling. Yeah. That like, oh no, my sinuses feeling. <laughs> <laughs> no, this doesn't hit my sinuses. <laughs> no, I mean, no, it brings back the memory of my sinuses <laughs> getting, you know, pressure washed unintentionally. I would do it again. Yeah, I think it's really cool. It is really cool. It is really cool. Yeah, yes. I'm excited to use it. Yeah. Thank you for taste testing. Oh, thank you for having me. I had a wonderful time. I'm so glad. I'm trying to think of how to end this video. Oh, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, cheers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>